Okay, now that we've walked up to the 16th floor of the hospital, we can begin rounds. Phil, why don't you tell us about our next patient? <sighs> yeah, just give me a second. While Phil is recovering from the first time he's ever exercised, I'll go ahead and get started. Uh-huh. Yeah. We have a 61-year-old male with stage 3 colon cancer, which means this is the perfect opportunity to discuss a recent trial published in the New England Journal of Medicine. Yeah, I'm gonna throw up. It does involve the gastrointestinal system. Very good, Phil. Over 800 patients with colon cancer who had undergone surgery and adjuvant chemotherapy were randomly assigned to participate in a structured exercise program or to receive health education materials alone. How did they do? Did they tolerate exercise better than Phil? Yes, disease-free survival at three years was significantly higher in the exercise group. But couldn't this result be due to selection bias toward higher functioning patients? In part, yes, but it still shows an intervention that improves survival in a vulnerable population. How are you guys not out of breath? Phil, I've been rounding 10 hours per day, six days per week for 30 years. Hospitalists are the fittest people on earth. I took the elevator. <laughs>